December 11, 2013. And just finished a um, couple of clips explaining some of the things that, what it was like, the environment um, that was around my house when I intercepted a telephone call from the Pentagon about Catherine Elizabeth Middleton. So, uh, anyway, going back to the Ballingers and how this fits in to that, um, I had had all of this horrible, um, like, sexual abuse done to me in a large group with large groups of people involved and been trafficked back and forth from England and from Canada too. And um, and I had actually even been framed. I'd, I'd been set up as young as age five uh, to look like I had committed some kind of a crime, which I think was to, um, which was also, I believe, an attempt to kind of kind of get rid of me, you know, get me out of people's way and um, start to build a case against me for why people shouldn't trust me when I was really little, I mean really little, like that. And I already had um, people stealing from me, which was really incredible, because yeah, when you're five years old and you have large number of individuals making money off of you and stealing a lot of money from you. It's a um, really strange situation to be in when you're five. And then when I was in, um, as I say, some of this, some of the sex abuse, uh, the large strategy stuff, some of it stopped for a short time. But then um, I was in school and I was actually getting abused by every single, every single elementary school teacher I had at this one school. Um, <clears throat> had me sexually abused either by themselves or by their husband. I was taken with one of the Dixies to their house and they um, would sexually abuse me, sometimes electrocute me with this electrocution box that I've talked about. Someone would bring it over, they'd have it there already. Um, I don't remember that that Dixie was always bringing it over there to them. Sometimes they already had it there in their house for, for whatever reason. And um, how it's possible every single one of those school teachers that I was assigned to a class with um, is pretty incredible. I think that um, it's just because this town, Moses Lake, Washington, is very military oriented. It's uh, based on a military base and an international airport. So the um, so the teachers somehow the government got all of these teachers and they worked for the government and I was getting abused by all of them and they were making documentation and little government notes about me not just being teachers while I was in their class and then. Um, when, when I was getting picked up after they'd torture me or sexually abuse me at one of my teacher's houses, they were, um, they were writing checks. They were writing out personal checks. And I thought, even as a kid, why are they writing the check out to um, Dixie or to my mom? And at some point, at first, I thought they were paying my mom money for the privilege of torturing me or something. Or maybe my mom had to have me tortured and we didn't have enough money to live off of. So the only way for my, my entire family to even have money to survive was if this was happening to me. And then they were paying um, money. But then, um, when I was a little bit older, I realized some of this check writing was looking more like um, blackmail check writing. Almost like, I kind of wondered if sometimes it was even getting cashed. And was it really being made out to my mom? 
It was my mom cashing it on behalf of someone else and then the money was getting sent somewhere. Or was were these checks sort of like dummy checks where it was a real check and um, and yet it was held in some sort of a trust where nobody could cash it or even view it unless um, someone wanted blackmail on someone like here I'm going to write this check about what happened and we're going to save it and if we feel threatened in any way we have this mutual agreement that we'll expose the check. I mean I had all kinds of ideas running through my mind when I was a little girl because I was trying to figure out what all this um, this check writing business was about because it definitely wasn't like they were writing um, I mean it was just odd obviously a kindergarten teacher first grade teacher second grade teacher and third grade teacher I witnessed every single one of them writing a check uh, writing more than one check and you know my my family I we never I never saw any money from that my parents definitely didn't look like they were living um, quote unquote as they say high on the hog so um, I knew that probably not everybody was getting hurt and harmed the way that I was and then having checks being written over it so it's very confusing to me but I figured I was so young that I wasn't going to remember or it didn't really matter because you know adults write checks back and forth to each other all the time so maybe it wasn't that big of a deal. Maybe I, I wouldn't remember. Well, so then, um, <clears throat> and when I mean, when I say it's sexual assault by them, I mean either the teacher herself was performing oral sex on my genitals, literally, or she was having me give blowjobs to her husband, and then they were torturing me. So. It was definite um, it was definitely sexual abuse and torture from all of them in addition to this check writing thing and um, so aside from just the teachers and maybe a couple of other people. I don't remember just this constant repetitive um, there seemed to be a little bit of a lull in my getting um, raped and forced to have it look like yeah I went along with all of it and then um, so then when I was later meeting the Ballingers they were kind of um, there had been another lull I was a little bit older um, I'd been around them a few times when I was really young and also when I was a couple years older because I was trafficked back and forth between Washington and Oregon often and there had been um, some time that had passed and all of a sudden they started reintroducing a lot of the things they were doing to me it was after Katie was born that I remembered that they started trying to practice all of these um, forms of rape against me to see if I still would go along with it and was quote unquote programmed and conditioned and scared enough to go along with it and fake and pretend that I consented to all, all the things they were doing to me. So they practiced every single one of the strategies that had been implemented against me from the um, triggers and code words and things that they had instilled in me um, from all of the different kinds of various scenarios that they had put into place. And um, so what happened, as I've already said, is that as it turned out, uh, Michelle, um, Erica Ballinger, ended up, um, and her sister, ended up being part of this organized effort to um, have me raped by these government employees sons who, who grew up and got became older 
when I was a um, when I was in high school, and uh, the government transferred my entire family from most of Washington over to that area, and I was going to um, specifically start talking about what Erica Ballinger, uh, which rapes she helped coordinate and facilitate, and and also how her sister was involved in, in something when I was younger and doing and doing that. But um, but I've just spent some time explaining a little bit of the background of some of the really strange things that were, were going on in, around in my house and, and in the country um, surrounding some of the abuse and torture of me and um, how everything was getting developed. So I'll probably, um, I'll definitely get into uh, specifics about Erica Ballinger tomorrow and I apologize if I disappointed anyone that I didn't go directly to that tonight, but there was a little bit of a background that needed to come first because Ballingers then um, they did know about the Middletons and they brought it into the um, they brought it up later and um, and in fact many of the government kids that I ended up having to go to school with to high school with um, somehow knew about her and. Um, and so it, it became this strange sort of obsession with with some of them. And I will try to make a concise video clip tomorrow that um, outlines exactly how Eric Ballinger facilitated some of these rapes of me. And um, and how her family was already connected to those families from years earlier.